Thank you very much. I'm Rakesh Diwali. I'm a member of working as an independent consultant and business partner. And I had one week in the Kata program, and now I'm doing mm -hmm. this study. Uh, a kind of quick uh, preliminary assessment of experiment of solar power based irrigation in Bihar. The first slide is all about what Vinash said that is uh, uh, poverty yeah. and plenty. And uh, there was a lack of economic and industrial irrigation, no development of non water resources, only 40% of non water has been developed so far. Multiple challenges of energy sector in terms of low generation availability. Uh, in culture sectors, particularly power is hard, only 6% of total uh, energy consumed in behind goes to agriculture. And uh, mostly diesel based irrigation and non commercial sources of energy have they have a uh, big uh, role to play. So, Mandal Water Resource Department and Clara Ventures together they partnered for a uh, for uh, in uh, 34 exi existing Nabad Phase 8 pumps. Uh, that these Nabad Phase 8 pumps are from uh, this, their program in 2004 and 5, and 34 pumps in Dalanga district they have been solarized or our solar generation has been done. Uh, all these are 7.5 HP pumps. It's the first uh, in, uh, initiative, large scale initiative in, in Eastern India as, a, as well as presents a kind of community model for uh, for the solar power based irrigation. So there is basically two type challenges to before this project. First to show that it works, to show the effectiveness, because it's the, the most important question there in the at least in the policy environment that whether it works or not. The second, whether this, how, uh, how uh, this uh, community model can uh, go ahead. This experiment has drawn attention because there is a program for expansion of solar pumps in other parts of Bihar. So I, uh, with help of Unitata, I did this system uh, study in September, October. I visited nine tubal sites and basically my task was to get feedback from uh, farmers how it's working. So just a few words on the technology aspects. There's existing pump set with the pump house, submersible pump and water distribution infrastructure. They have added three components, Clara Ventures have added three components. Solar panels and there is a VMD and a communication system. Six set of solar panels, two all together 36 panels for one 7.5 HP pump. They generate about 600 volts and they feed into the, 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 uh, the submersible pump. And the panels are on 1,000 square feet of area. Panels are, are, are above 5.5 meters above the ground. And angles of panels are adjustable to track the sun movement. So this is the schematic diagram, solar panels. There is an existing pump house, solar panels. And there is an inverter which converts the DC into uh, direct current generated by solar panels into alternative current and that goes into some similar pump. Earlier in Nawaz, Nawad phase 8 pump, there was a generator which is basically de defunct and which led to that in fact uh, the whole system, the existing the pump house as well as uh, water irrigation system was not working because this generator was consuming too much of uh, diesel. And there is a online monitoring system because the data, there is a data relay from the pumps the VFD which, which gets captured into Patna, in Patna office and uh, data on uh, energy produced and discharge is collected and, and kind of uh, the feedback is given to the department on how the system is functioning. So I have uh, in fact uh, said this what are the components. Now this is the pump, the, if there is an existing uh, infrastructure when this, uh, this pump was not working for the last 5 years, the panel has been installed and there is a surge tank as well as air vent and three outlets goes into underground water distribution structure. And the, earlier it was in fact two lines of panels, it is, there it is in one row and this, this pad is being in fact irrigated by solar panels and the solar systems. So there is a uh, uh, ground below solar panels, they are used for, the, uh, for, for creepers only and uh, we will come to back to that. And then this, these are the iron pillars and their adjustable angles uh, <coughs> slots for, for slots for changing the angles of those panels. So you can see that the different angles are there. And it can be changed at least twice or thrice a day to in fact get the direct sun uh, light. This is the machine we kept in pump house which converts DC into AC and it shows the volts generated. 
and it and a data relay system is also attached to it. So Clara Venture's responsibility was to project uh, implementation and ONM installation for five years. There is a 25 year power warranty and there is a district level office in Bihar Sharif, the district headquarters of Alanda to, uh, to provide the maintenance and it's, uh, it's important that they have a local office for farmers can in fact uh, on the function you can contact the office quite often. Solar pumps cost about 10 lakh rupees, with subsidy it comes out 7 lakh rupees and, and government of Bihar has given this argument that it's a better uh, uh, economical than diesel and, and it's a long term viability is more than and they have their own methods of calculation that are presented in the paper that can look into. Uh, but this is the argument, the argument is based that uh, it's better to go for uh, solar rather than diesel as well as um, uh, electric because the payback time is, 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 uh, is uh, smaller for solar uh, panels. And there are other independent, uh, there are other benefits like independence from grid, environmentally is much more cleaner, near carbon footprint and less human risk involved. So this is a plan being used for panel installation. It should be placed on well drained land and and it should not be used for cultivation because it can disrupt your the, the movement of the animals. So um, it should not be in fact encouraged to use uh, to, be, to be used for cultivation. But bad selection of sites can lead into this where you can in fact uh, there, there, there can be problems of electric shocks as well as uh, if if uh, uh, enters it can get shocks as well as you can't use it for changing the angles. For those for the four or five months it can be in fact. But it's a rare case of bad selection site selection. And now come the institution part. As I uh, just mentioned that it was dovetail to uh, existing water irrigation infrastructure in the BART program. There was a water user association with that program which was in fact defunct. And the, the, the solar uh, inner pumps have inherited those things. So there are many institutional loopholes. Secretary and operator attached to those pumps, uh, this, uh, pumps they are managing day-to-day -day affairs. They donated the land for uh, the, the first Nabat phase eight pump. There has been no compensation. So basically, de facto, they are owning the system. Uh, so there was no compensation. So even the, uh, the farmers think that they, they own the pump and the, the solarized part also. But actually, uh, actually, it's just a public irrigation system. Solar installation is quite, in fact, uh, uh, fresh. It started working in first week of April. The implementation part installation was quite fast. Uh, flat 28, 20 days, all 34 installations were done. Underground pipes and outlets, they are pre-existing. Goes up to 100 to 300 feet. Then there are three outlets. Uh, after that, they can the farmers can use. Uh, uh, the plastic pipes. So there are three, in fact, just two seasons, Garib, uh, Garma and Karif, uh, partly Garma also. In fact, uh, experience is there, Rabi irrigation is still awaited. Garma irrigation uh, has been a, a big hit because sky was clear, and the, the, the pump could be switched on as well as 7, uh, 7 30 to 8, and we have up to 5 to 5 30 pm. Good nine, 8 to 9 hours of, of discharge was available. The, they have a uh, discharge capacity of uh, 70 meter cube per hour. And Sarma, uh, sorry, the, the Garma crop is is is, uh, is, is fact taken on very small part. So Garma farming is probably uh, very uh, dominant in this area. Other parts of Bihar also. So it harvests quite well. Solar energy harvests quite well for some Garma uh, cultivation expansion in area as well as uh, as uh, as uh, the crop diversification. Kharif, Kharif is the major uh, crop and it's, it's irrigating 5 to 10 acres of land currently and it can go up to 15 to, uh, 15 to 20 acres if better what is, uh, uh, water distribution structure is, is uh, uh, created and managed and water discharge was available for 6 to 8 hours in a day in Kharif period overall. Brief cloud intervals have no significant effect, effect on yield but on cloudy days uh, it varies a, 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 a lot uh, depending upon the cloud intensity between 8.30 to 3.30 what is available altogether 15 days in uh, Kharif season uh, the, 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 it gets disrupted 
farmers feel that 15 days of cloud uh, overcast conditions, uh, you don't get water. And after each rainfall is spell, there are usually there is usually a period of four to eight days when there is no irrigation demand. Pumps can function, but it is kept kept uh, off. And and the demand and the entire logbook they enter as no demand of irrigation. Just to give a quick view of the same pump when the, there is a uh, partly covered cloud sky is there, 420 volt is being generated. This is the discharge when all the outlets are closed, only the air vent is uh, is, is uh, open, and it needs at least 420, 420 uh, at least 250 of volt generated to function, and optimum discharge is available uh, beyond 300 or 320 volt, and up to 420 or 420 uh, 25 volt. 440 also, it can in fact, uh, on a clear sunny day you get 440 volts. So, and on a, in an overcast condition where you can't see the, your shade, only 256 volt is being generated and this the discharge level goes down very drastically. This is the same pump under two conditions. And it's on a clear day, this one outlet is, is working like this, when other outlets are in fact, uh, it's close and it's irrigating Ravi, the, the paddy, sorry, the paddy crop. First, Ravi irrigation is yet get to take place, but there's a big demand for wheat irrigation. Farmers feel that 10 to 12 acres of land under wheat can be, in fact, supported by 7.5 HP pump. And with better water management, it can go up to 15 to 20 acres. And uh, But intense fog period for 20 to 25 days in December, generally is a big concern. Uh, we are waiting how it will function in that period. So this is a kind of table of when it uh, this this switching arm and off time and what are the interruptions that I have already in fact uh, mentioned. And these are the irrigated current irrigated area and expected potential area. Though government of Bihar has uh, in fact declared 40 hectare of command area of one pond, but nowhere is reaching that. So farmers feel this economical irrigation because uh, government is charging just 55 rupees to 75 rupees per acre and there is currently some confusion about rates being realized. So various variable rate structures are uh, visible but with clarity more uh, uniformity in rates is expected. It's still it's an economical irrigation because in the surrounding region electric uh, uh, irrigation is available for 10 rupees per katha and uh, that is 32 katha is going to 1 acre, and solar is 3 to 5 rupees per katha, and diesel pumps 75 to 90 rupees per hour. And, uh, and I am told that you can't measure solar in, in terms of per uh, hour, because uh, 32 katha is going to 1 acre. So because uh, there are variable uh, uh, discharge in different times of day, because if you charge per hour, then most of them like to have between the peak hour of the supply. So for solar, per hour is not the answer. It all can only work per acre or per hectare. Maintenance of installation is fine. In fact, very good report of, of, of Claro Ventures too. In fact, they have taken care uh, well of, of, uh, of the system. Uh, and they have this board where to whom to contact and what are the do's and don'ts in the pump house. Pumps theft. There were uh, five to six, uh, five cases of theft of panels, but it was replaced. And functionally, they found the the, uh, the, the, uh, the on the handling of the company is quite easy. The benefits can be enhanced uh, on two. Uh, just just uh, uh, half an minute and rest. Better institutional management in terms of awareness about the rates and uh, better management of uh, the uh, strengthening of water user association, simple design of irrigation charges, and irrigation rates can be reviewed to support its expenditures. Currently, it's too low. And infrastructure improvement with more underground structures to support irrigation. This is their demand, fencing of panels. Thank you. So we will take